Ed took from me my early 20s and part of my college experience. I have some memory loss during this time of my life because I just wasn't even fully there. Ed has been in my life since I was eight years old. Ed took away my confidence in myself and my ability to live my life in the way I wanted to. Ed made me feel ugly and worthless and disgusting and Ed was just this really creative mastermind that controlled everything. I remember being a really young girl, five or six years old, and being at the mall and watching this bigger woman eating a hot dog, and this voice came into my head and told me, that's what you are going to look like when you get older. And so growing up until I was about 11 years old, I always had that voice following me around telling me that I was never good enough or that I was too big. And so when I got into sixth grade and started puberty and my body started changing. I just stopped eating lunch and it just progressed from there. Growing up, I felt like I was the rock in my family. My parents were arguing a lot. I kind of felt like I had to take care of my brother and protect him from that. And then I felt like I had to be this, this good girl. If I was this good girl that maybe they wouldn't argue anymore. So I felt out of control in my family that I couldn't, you know, help my parents get along, that I couldn't be there for my brother. The eating disorder made me feel like I could control it and so much that I could forget about it. I could just forget about any pain that I was going through or or anything, you know, so it was just this thing that I could control myself and I felt confident in. Once I got into high school, the pressures of trying to fit in and the pressures of school in general, no matter how much I restricted, it didn't work anymore. So throwing up was, was what worked. And once I threw that up, once I could see this thing that I had created in front of me, this vomit in the toilet, I was proud of it. It was something that I had done and that I had gotten rid of and it was something that I could see. It was the pain that I could see in the toilet bowl in front of me and I could flush it down the toilet and forget about it and I felt like I could fly afterward. This was my Bible. This was the little book that I created and lived by. Everything that went inside of me and everything that came out of me was in this. I have my morning weight, and then I have every single thing that I ate that day, um, and every calorie, and the fat calories that were in it too. And I would weigh myself before I worked out and after I worked out, and if I couldn't throw up everything that I had wanted to throw up, I would go and I would compulsively exercise, and I would exercise for maybe two hours at the gym on, on a treadmill or on one of those elliptical machines. and. Um, I was 19 years old. It was the second year, my second year in college, and I think I was binging and purging seven or eight times a day. I had to have upper endoscopies and go to the doctor and stuff because I was throwing up blood and they were afraid that I was going to rupture a varice and then you can hemorrhage out and you can bleed out and that's really scary. I felt terrible about myself and I just kept punishing myself because I couldn't make myself feel better anymore.